Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, we are diving into a hot topic for all you Linux enthusiasts out there. Why Linux distro hopping is bad. So, take a deep breath, settle in, and let's break it all down. All right, so first things first, what exactly is distro hopping? For those new to the scene, distro hopping is when you jump from one Linux distribution to another, trying out a different flavor every few months. Sounds exciting, right? New features, different interfaces, and that constant thrill of exploration. But here's the thing. While variety can be the spice of life, distro hopping might actually be doing more harm than good in your Linux journey. Now let's talk about the learning curve. Every Linux distro has its own quirks, unique configurations, and even different package managers. So every time you switch, you're essentially starting from scratch. Imagine trying to learn a new language every time you sit down to write a sentence. It can be um, really overwhelming. The time you spend relearning commands, settings, and workflows adds up, and before you know it, you're not really getting any closer to mastering Linux overall. Consistency is key if you want to build a deep understanding of your system. Think about it. If you stick with one distro for a while, you get to know all its ins and outs. You can troubleshoot issues, optimize performance, and even customize your setup to fit your exact needs. But with distro hopping, you end up with a fragmented experience that can slow down your learning progress and honestly become more frustrating than beneficial. Another point to consider is the balance between stability and novelty. Sure, trying new distros can be fun because you're exploring the latest features and innovations. But here's the catch. Newer isn't always better. Many of the rock-solid, tried-and-tested distros have been around for years because they offer stability and reliability. When you constantly switch, you miss out on that long-term stability. It's like building your house on shifting sands instead of a firm foundation. And let's be real. If you're using Linux for work, programming, or any kind of a serious project, you want an environment you can rely on day in and day out. Constantly changing your setup can lead to unexpected bugs, incompatibility issues, and uh, a general sense of instability that can seriously disrupt your productivity. Now let's talk about community and support. One of the best things about Linux is the incredible community behind each distro. When you stick with one distro, you get to know the people, the forums, and the developers who are there to help you out when things go sideways. You build relationships, learn from shared experiences, and uh, contribute to the growth of that community. But if you're hopping from distro to distro, you'll find it hard to develop those connections. Every time you switch, you lose a bit of that community support. And honestly, troubleshooting can become a real nightmare when you're not familiar with the common solutions in that particular ecosystem. Plus, think about all those helpful guides, tutorials, and how-to videos that are tailored to one specific distro. When you jump around too much, you might end up wasting time sifting through outdated or irrelevant content. Sticking with one distro means you can dive deep into its documentation, really understanding the ecosystem and contributing back to the community. Another critical point is the fragmented experience you might end up with. Many Linux tools, scripts, and configurations are built with a particular distro in mind. When you're constantly switching, you might face compatibility issues with software or configurations that worked perfectly on your previous distro. It's like having a favorite recipe that suddenly doesn't work because you changed one key ingredient. You're left with a system that might not behave as expected. This inconsistency can seriously hamper your workflow and lead to unnecessary troubleshooting sessions. Plus, let's not forget the time you spend customizing and fine-tuning your system. Every distro has its own set of tweaks, shortcuts, and optimizations. Constantly redoing all that work not only eats up your time, but also prevents you from developing a streamlined workflow. In the long run, this could seriously impact your productivity, especially if you're juggling multiple projects or tasks. Believe it or not, distro hopping can even take a psychological toll Constantly switching between different environments can create a sense of instability instead of feeling confident and in control of uh, your Linux setup, you might feel like you're always on the back foot, always having to relearn and adapt to new interfaces and tools. This can lead to frustration, burnout, 
and ultimately a diminished passion for what should be an exciting and empowering operating system. It's like trying to read a book where the story keeps changing mid-chapter. You never really get to sink in and appreciate the narrative. In the same way, constantly switching distros can prevent you from truly mastering the Linux experience and enjoying the full benefits it has to offer. It's great to experiment and find what works best for you, but there's a balance to be struck. Instead of jumping from distro to distro at every new release, consider sticking with one or two that truly meet your needs. Experiment on a secondary system or in a virtual machine before making the switch permanently. This way you get the best of both worlds, the thrill of discovery without sacrificing the stability and mastery of your primary setup. So to wrap things up, distro hopping might seem like a fun way to explore the Linux landscape, but it comes with significant downsides. From the constant learning curve and lack of stability to diminished community support and a fragmented experience, the costs can easily outweigh the benefits. By sticking with one distro for a longer period, you build expertise, enjoy a more stable system, and ultimately get more done without the constant hassle of adapting to new environments. What do you think? Have you experienced the challenges of distro hopping or do you thrive on the constant change? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences and any tips you have for newcomers navigating the Linux world. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more in-depth tech discussions and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep exploring, but maybe stick with one distro for a while. Catch you later.